and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm not sure if this is recording because the timer didn't come on. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, uh, video anyway. So join me in the um, King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Revelation, um, chapter 18, um, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For the sins have reached unto heaven, God hath remembered her inequities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled to her double. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. Um, this is actually, um, this is cute, this just fell out. Me and Brother Dan at um, Baltimore Harbor. Um, it's actually a vision I got this morning um, uh, prior to me getting up. And it must be extremely important based on the spiritual battle going on with me today and the last few days. So here's what the Lord showed me. Um, he brought me um, to what appeared to me to be um, a bay. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because I could see where the, where the grass ended and it wasn't a sandy beach. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was a bay. I was looking all around. Um, I didn't get the exact location of where this bay was, but my understanding was I was on the east coast, um, which brings to me um, my attention. I have another prophecy out there. Um, of, it's called Manhattan Underwater. Okay, so here is what he showed me. So as I, I was there, I guess in the spirit, um, watching what was going on, I knew something was going to be happening. So I see this huge, gigantic, um, and, and I, I'm really bad with size. I'm going to say between 30 and 50 foot um, giant wave come over and just cover everything. Everything was gone. No grass, nothing. Everything's gone. So I'm standing there like probably with my mouth open. And I see another one right behind it coming up the same thing, same size, 30 to 50 feet high. Um, and going right over the same area again, two times. And again, I didn't give, get the location on it, but I was Googling around, looking on the East Coast, what the bays looked like. And uh, I looked at several of them, and it looked like what I saw in the vision. So this is it. We're at the end. We know Jesus is coming back. I um, need to have a personal relationship with him. If you don't, um, do it now. Time is up. This is it. We're out of time. He's coming back. He's giving hundreds and hundreds of warnings. He's telling us to prepare. Uh, prepare for war, prepare for disaster, prepare for flooding, you name it. We prepare for fire and brimstone raining down. He's giving us uh, millions of um, warnings to get ready for something major to happen. Please do it. Um, he wouldn't be telling all of his messengers and everyone that, all of his people that work for him, he wouldn't be telling us all the same story uh, over and over unless it's urgent that you take action. Please take action. And again, this would, I believe these were, it's a tsunami. Um, and I think I actually even know what triggered it. Um, someone sent me a message yesterday, um, or the day before, it was um, a, a message from Stephen Ben Dinon, Israeli News Live. I looked at it, um, uh, part of it, I didn't re actually listen to the whole entire video, um, but what he was saying um, was that, that the last asteroid belt uh, that came through, that, that um, he believed that there was, and he had inside information from someone, I'm not going to go into all the details of the um, video in case I say something wrong. Um, he actually knew someone um, in the government that said the last asteroid belt that came through, um, that, that there was actually a hit in part of our Earth with it, but it was being uh, again uh, covered up, which uh, I don't, I'm not surprised. So he believed that there's another one coming through, and I don't know if it's coming through maybe even today. Um, so possibly there could be something going on with that, which brought to, to um, my remembrance another video that I reposted. It says, um, you will see with your own eyes the stars falling from the heavens. I did repost that on the Facebook pages and some of the groups I'm in. So I have a plan, be prepared. And again, um, my own opinion at, at this point is there's no way that I would be living on, let's say, just say this, any coast. I have uh, prophecies on both coasts, east and west coast being destroyed. Um, staying away from the water on those sides um, is just horrible. So again, um, get yourself... Um, prepared, have an emergency plan, especially if you're not moving away from the, um, the ocean or the, uh, the um, east coast or west coast. Have a plan. 
if you're there to get away, just to make sure you have an alternate route, um, to have emergency supplies on hand with you. You don't know what's going to happen. This sounds like another tsunami with me, like the one I saw in the um, Statue of Liberty when I was shown that vision. I reposted that. Um, I think it was called um, Manhattan Underwater, and I reposted that. You might want to look at that, Joe. Um, don't take his warnings li lightly. He's telling all of us the same thing. Anyone that's a messenger or, or a worker for the Lord right now is getting the same, or have the gift of prophecy. I'm seeing this all over, the same message. Um, a major, major destruction is coming. Be prepared, have a plan, uh, know what you're doing, and get your spiritual house in order along with your actual house in order. You need to do that. Um, he's, you must be born again to enter the kingdom. Um, you need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Um, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That is what you need, the Holy Spirit. You must be born again. And again, don't be, be depending on other people to tell you what to do. Research it yourself. Get a Bible, read it front to back. Know it inside out. Then if you don't do that, you're not going to know who um, is trying to deceive you or what um, doctrine out there is false. You need to, to do it yourself. We're at the end now. He's wanting you to know him. Um, you're not going to get anywhere without having a personal relationship with him. What else did I want to mention? Um, I did, wasn't able when we did um, Sister Amber's um, video um, to, to do my full um, thank you to, to everyone. And because I forget things and um, then she's laughing over there, then we both laugh. Um, but uh, again, um, thank you everyone for all, all the encouraging comments under the videos, all the transcriptions under the videos. Um, thank you, everyone, that sends us things in the mail. Um, Cynthia, yes, I did finally get your package in the mail. Thank you so much for the gift, and the, the um, shirt is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for always thinking of me. I really appreciate it. With this, it's so hard to buy things or try things on. I really appreciate I really appreciate everyone that, that thinks of us, when, whatever they're sending us. Um, what else am I missing? Um, remember to like and follow us on the Facebook channels, um, and remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I can still see on some of the videos um, that the viewers are light, and I know that they're not showing it, um, and that's the only reason why. So please share it. We know Jesus is coming back. You have to have a personal relationship with him. You have to know him. You have to know him and be born again. Please do that. Um, what else? And again, take this very seriously. These um, warnings, um, especially, like I said, um, I don't know if anyone else had any uh, tsunami um, visions or dreams. I'm going to have to browse around and see what's going on there. I didn't have any time to do it. I'm still trying to deal with this problem with the allergic reaction on my mouth. I've got, been to the doctors, I want to say, two or three times now. Um, the medication they gave me, of course, didn't work. Um, what I was doing, she told me to stop. What she told me to do didn't work either. Now I was calling the emergency care center. They wouldn't even give me an appointment to go there. How about that? I said, I'm pretty sure I'm having a severe allergic reaction to the nitrile gloves from the um, root canal. This has been dragging on almost two months. I can't eat. Um, he said, you need to go to the emergency room right now. Well, guess what? I don't drive. I can't. So that I'd have to depend on someone else to run around and take me somewhere and blah. You know the whole story. And plus, I don't even want to go near a hospital or an emergency room. That's why I call the emergency um, care center so I don't have to do that and make my family go there. I don't want anybody to get the coronavirus. And we still know it's all a big lie with that. I better go. I'm going off again. But anyway, um, God bless you all. Thank you, everyone. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, hit the notification button. Um, share, share the videos around and like and follow us on the Facebook pages. Um, I, I will put Sister Barbara Francis' um, Facebook link um, under the video. And again, I'm not adding people on my private page, my personal page. That's why I made Sister Barbara Francis. You don't need to send me a friend request. Just like and follow there. Um, am I missing anything? I think I'm pretty good there. So God bless you all. Hopefully this is recording and I don't have to do it again. God bless.